Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sam, and we're back with the Lord of the Rings Online with our captain here on the Game and Testament level 15. We just spoke to Langland. He told us we need to head back to the Prancing Pony and speak to Strider, aka Aragon, on for some tips on something that I can't remember, <laughs> even though I made episode 12 about an hour ago. So this is the 13th episode. Um, I hope you're enjoying the uh, new intro and outro music uh, by a guy called Kevin McLeod. Um I think that's how it's pronounced anyway, um, royalty free, and it's um, really good music, um, Path of the Goblin King is the intro and Long Road Ahead is the outro, um, if you want to know the titles and go to incomptech.com if you want to check out those songs or get any of the other songs um, just for general use, or if you want to use them as intro and outro music, etc. Um, really good music. Uh, one thing I neglected to mention at the end of the episode is to watch our part and chat partner channel, uh, the Gaming Dracoons, our good friend David, and I'm just going to ignore this wolf. Um, but it's our good friend David. Um, he's going to be doing quite different games to what we're doing. He's going to be doing things sort of like... Uh, Minecraft and the Tekken and Vaults expansions, well not expansions, but they were mod packs that became a fresh new game in themselves, and I'm being a bit laggy right now, not laggy as an in internet, as in just skiffy gameplay, um, he was thinking about doing some Rome Total War and Settlers as well, um, so we've just got to take the long journey now to <laughs> the Prancing Pony, which is a bit annoying. And now that map's taken ages to open. Um, I'll probably get a taxi from this upcoming taxi. I've got lots of money. Uh, well, I say lots. I've got 493 silver, which isn't bad. Um, as you should know by now, I am saving up for a mount. Uh, so these journeys and these episodes won't become so tedious and long with me running around. Um, I can't remember um, how much... Oh gosh, it's being really skiffy. I can't remember exactly how much amount is. Um, I'll Google it at the end of this episode. And if I've got actually got enough, next episode I'll look into purchasing one. Um, it'll liven up these episodes a lot more, and we'll get a lot more done in the episodes, obviously, because of the faster transport. So, um, not using my laptop mouse anymore. I've got a USB mouse. Um, it's a lot better. Um, I've been using it since the last episode, but I haven't mentioned it. Um, it's a lot better. Makes it a lot easier for things like Team Fortress 2, 2 and Planet Side 2. Um, and most games, even games where you don't have, re barely ever have to click at all. It makes it, um, considerably easier, uh, just for the mouse movements, really. Because it's not such a compacted space then. Um, anyway, this is Adso's, I believe it is. Yeah, ad says, and it's lagging again. Gosh. Alright, am I near the... Yeah, the taxi is by there. I can see him there. Alright. We should be able to catch one into Westbury, I think it is. Uh, mm, what's going on, boss? Westbury. There you go. Travel for one silver coin. There you go. Now, ta I've mentioned it before. I'll say it again. Taxi horses... Um, are faster than the mounts you purchase. Um, so even when I do have a mount, I will still be using taxis occasionally just to get around places quicker. Um, you can purchase uh, faster mounts during festivals or on the turbine store than the uh, mounts you start off with. Um, well, the sort of standard mount. Uh, the mounts you do start off with, you blow a whistle to get. They're awful. I didn't get to capture those on footage. Because I thought it was 24 hours in game time you had them for. Actually 24 hours in real time. So I didn't actually get any footage of me on those horses. Which just as well because it's a bit of a shameful horse. Um, sort of a failed war horse. So they just chuck them to the low level players for free and only for 24 hours. Yeah, so I'm going to lag when I get into Bree. Um, I always do. I like lag nowhere else and then get into Bree. And gosh, look at those textures. Get into Bree. Uh, but the ground seems to look better in Bree than it does anywhere else. Right, I've dismounted now. Yeah, it's still loading. It should be a lot more bustling than it is at the moment. I uh, just got to head straight on to the Prancing Pony. Yeah, because look at these textures by here. It's abysmal. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing on a really bad PlayStation 2 game. Bump up the volume a bit on the music. 
Um, I had it down last episode. I had it down at the beginning of this episode. Thought it was better. Some aspects it's better. Because the dialogue's still reasonably loud. But some of the music is nice to hear, so. And look at these textures. Look at them. I guess that's the sacrifice I take, but for having decent graphics means I've got to have really bad textures. And bad lag and breed, I'll be okay in the Prancing Pony though. So let's go and see Strider, aka Aragon. Uh, he's my favourite character in Lord of the Rings, probably. Um, always has been since I was like four, watching the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, let's see, it's 2001 when Fellowship of the Ring came out. Hmm... 12 years ago, not even 4 I don't think, gosh, that would have been, would have been like 2 or 3, wow, oh so yeah, I was thinking, where's Strider, but he is through here, <sighs> here he is, I dare not tarry here for long, oh you do doing? This is dire news. While the four hobbits I was awaiting are safe for the moment, the protection Bree offers is fleeing at best. We must leave soon, and if the enemy's suspicions were confirmed by these Creebane that that what they seek is no longer in the Shire, our trip may be all the more perilous. Yet the old forest is a twisting labyrinth that can lead even the most experienced tracker astray. Finding these Creebane will not be easy. So now I get 500, is it? 500 put reputation points of the mana Bree and Derekor. Listen well. Right, Tom Bombadil. I've been talking about looking forward to doing things with him for a while. Uh, but, alright, so let's just use this. Uh, what is it? Yeah, I'll use that. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it now. This is the shortest lot show episode I've ever done, except for that crap episode 4 that just failed completely. Um, Tom Bo I'll just talk about Tom Bombadil for a moment. Tom Bombadil uh, lives in the old forest borders, um, Buckland. And I've got to go and see him. He has loads of cool, not just story, not just epic quests you get to do with him, uh, but you get to do um, some really fun. Um, so, so he's uh, he's in here. Um, you get to do some really fun mini quests with him as well, and it'll take us to eventually one of my favourite places on Lord of the Rings Online, the Barrow Downs. Um, it's one of my favourite places to be doing epic quests. You do some awesome instances there, one of which you get to see the Witch King of Angmar, which is pretty awesome. But that's going to be it for this episode. Can't believe it's been so short, but I will hope to see all of you, all of you, uh, in the next episode. I will do some hefty questing between now and now, now and next episode, episode 14, where I should be around at least level 17. Uh, for the next episode, but I will see you then. Um, sorry about the short video. Give us a like, subscribe, a comment, check out all of our other videos, and follow us on Twitter. By the way, it'll be in the uh, description. And watch some videos of David's channel, our partner channel, The Gaming Dracoon. I hope to see you next episode. Bye bye.